Hey everyone, it's been a long time since I did a Ravenstone video update and not for lack of trying, but it kind of like, I shoot it, don't run to get at editing it because I don't have a lot of time, trying to work out other things, but right now it's kind of a, a process where I'm going to, I'm researching, I'm getting things together to do the next big review, and I thought I'd, since there's been a very light content month and everything, I've actually not actually shot anything this month. The last review I did, the guest, I shot it before the Rambo 3 review back in May, so haven't really got around to doing anything this month. And that's not for lack of not having things to do. I've been doing some web design work. I was doing a little bit of videography at the end of last month for uh, another band. And uh, a few other things here and there. I updated Ravensum.com to make sure everything was current. Uh, current news updates, got some new links on there, updated all the... Uh, Video links for Forever Cinematic, all the new 12 One Beyond episodes. We just did one based, uh, themed with vampires. And, uh, Josh had everything planned out prior to Christopher Lee's untimely passing. And so, since it just happened to be happenstance that we were fe featuring a good number of, uh, Christopher Lee, uh, pieces of content, including the Satanic Rites of Dracula, I th threw it out there to just throw a little sort of tribute or something like that in memory of, uh, of Christopher Lee at the end of the whole thing. So go ahead and check out, you'll see the link uh, below to check out the episode if you want to. We did a, uh, it's probably our shortest episode, about two and a half hours, usually around three. But uh, it's a good episode. We put some really good blood sucking type of stuff into it. And if you really love vampires, you really enjoy it. So I would definitely recommend going to see it. And uh, like throw out that uh, Kathy, uh, lady that uh, does all our uh, voiceover work for the series really does a fantastic job uh, taking all of Josh's type of uh, writing and everything and kind of filtering through filtering it through her really makes for, for a great dynamic in the show so there's a lot of humor that we throw in with the little sort of interstitials and everything so it's a very interesting and whacked out type of format but I think if you guys watch it give it a good amount of time uh, sit down with it for half an hour, see how you like it, and if it keeps going with you, just keep going with it. We'd really enjoy getting your feedback and you guys spreading links around for it. And uh, we're going to have some news updates about uh, the expansion of the uh, brand name in the coming months. But uh, go check it out. And like I said, there's a little Christopher Lee tribute at the end of it, which I did post as a separate video on the Vimeo account, just because I figure it's nice to kind of get that out and circulate it, maybe whatever it is, but I thought it was a, a nice short, like, one-minute tribute video that I edited to uh, Hemi's uh, pre-meditate uh, track, an instrumental track from their Undivided Tensions album that I just felt it fit the right tone for everything, and uh, just threw in a little random clip so I could grab real quick whatnot, but old Dracula, a little uh, Saruman, and uh, Gremlins 2, and uh, James, his James Bond film, Man with the Golden Gun, so a couple things there, so check that out. But uh, we're here to get some Ravensome centric updates and basically I'm going to tell you what's really going to be interesting me in the Forever Cinematic vein in the near future and I'm kind of, I was kind of sitting around trying to figure, sort things out what I really wanted to uh, focus on next because I had a few things that I kind of had a false start on this past week and kind of decided I want to sort of think about science fiction movies and stuff like that and figured there's a franchise that this is the most absolute timely point in time to do a full retrospective on so that is what I'm planning right now I'm kind of keeping it inside don't want to let it out don't want to let don't want to tell you exactly what it is but you'll probably be able to figure it out fairly easily but I just want to keep it bundled up inside kind of pent up inside I want to use that energy just trying to like get it get the energy going and just keep focused on it. just want to stay on top of it and uh, I really have the feeling to do this. Just want to make sure I get to the right place to get all my thoughts organized and everything before I go ahead and try and shoot this review, this whole retrospective look at this franchise. But uh, once it hits, I think you guys will hopefully be enjoying it. So uh, I'll see this before I've shot a damn thing. But I want to let you guys know that there are. I had the bug to pick up because uh, recently I think it was at and and uh, another video or whatnot, but. Uh, I mentioned that I had gotten a Blu-ray reader drive for my Mac back here so I can actually rip footage from Blu-rays to get you nice high definition quality 
from Blu-rays that I do own. So not everything will be a Blu-ray source thing because it costs a lot of money to buy new Blu-rays and you can't sell the DVDs that I have for jack shit. I just sold a good stack of DVDs today. I, I've been to a few different places, tried eBay, tried other resale shops, couldn't get jack shit for this stuff. Even the Alien Quadrilogy DVD set with nine discs in it, no one would give you more than eight bucks for it now. And I bought it for ten times that amount in 2004. So hurts a little bit, but what can you do? It's just like the, the value of DVDs just is nothing at this point. You can't get anywhere with it unless it's an extremely rare title that you can't get anywhere else. But I just decided since I had that and stuff like that, so I bought a couple of Blu-rays, which actually happen to be Universal Steelbooks limited editions that I'm blocking the mic here a little bit, but got the entire Bourne trilogy on Blu-ray. I did have them on DVD, and it's really kind of painful because I sold off. I had a Best Buy exclusive Steelbook of Bourne Ultimatum that was really, really nice, but is the only one of the whole trilogy that actually would, they would actually take at the resale shop, so it hurts just a tad bit because it was really, really nice, but I got these in high definition and uh i do plan on doing reviews of each one of them separately sort of like i was I've been doing with the rambo films so um that's definitely going to be a thing and speaking of science fiction i did pick up pitch black which again i still have the dvd they wouldn't take it they're overstocked so but i have the blu-ray of pitch black i started watching it friday night i think it was and just like i was too tired to really get into the film to be able to write up notes and do that kind of stuff to be able to produce a review for it. So I put it on hold. But I uh, definitely want to do Pitch Black and Chronicles of Riddick. I've already talked about the third film enough times in two different videos where I had an initial uh, reaction to it. And then when I saw the director's cut and got a bit more acclimated to the expectations of the film, I had a completely different opinion of it. So uh, no reason to do like a franchise whole franchise encompassing video of the Riddick films and talk about that film for the third time. So Pitch Black and Chronicles of Riddick will get their own separate reviews in due time. So that's a lot of content. And uh, since we do have a Tom Cruise movie coming up, new Mission Impossible film, I am probably going to review at least a couple of the Mission Impossible films. Probably not all of them. Not gonna have a, Probably not going to have enough time to review all four films, but I'll pick and choose what I want to do. And, uh, because I gotta do Michael Mann, I picked up Collateral on Blu-ray. Because I figure I might as well. Because the Manhunter thing has been stalled out for months now. Me not getting back around to actually doing anything with it. So, haven't actually finished shooting the damn thing. So, that, that tells you enough. So, uh, I'll probably jump into Collateral. I'll probably just go into that because, you know, Tom Cruise. New movie coming out with him. Really kind of get me into the mood, you know. But that's a lot of stuff. And you don't expect to see it like the, all the next month. That's just stuff I am motivated to be interested at the moment. But uh, those are good choices. And again, I could get barely shit for the DVD versions I had. So it gets a little thin. And uh, if you guys are really are interested in helping support things around here. Because it's really kind of hard right now. Because uh, now trying to do this stuff, I'm really, I'm really passionate about the first cinematic movie reviews. I really am. I just want to do them more often, but a lot of times it just, the schedule I have, stuff like that, just doesn't quite allow me to do what I want to do. And there's a lot of other things I want to do besides this that is a little difficult to do when I'm trying to just balance everything out in life. And it's not been the best balance I could possibly have. So there is still the Patreon thing out there for Ravenstone Productions, which really has not gone anywhere at all and that's kind of unfortunate but i mean i'm not begrudging anyone i would just if you guys really do enjoy things around here you want to see growth you want to see make sure that i can still obtain new stuff and still be able to produce things on a much more regular basis don't have months like this where i get it's nearly the end of the month and i've done one review and that's all i've been able to have time to do getting a little extra incentive for me to give more to you guys would be a major help that it, yeah, if I can get the money to just keep doing this type of stuff and putting more effort into it, increasing the quality of what I do and also possibly helping out to produce new 
film projects that I do want to get around to, but because things are just so uh, a little too, so many things I want to do and there's not enough time to do everything that I need to find a balance for all of it. And it's not easy to do that when it's like, I so want to do the reviews. They're so much easier to do than go ahead with a film project, which would take a whole lot of time and take a time away from the YouTube channel. But it's something that I really want to do. And I'm just trying to figure out where I can get that balance to make sure that all the passions are covered and I have enough time and energy to do all this stuff is really hard. So getting a little extra incentive for me to be able to push myself further would be really helpful. So, I mean, I'm not begging or anything, but if you guys really do enjoy the stuff around here, you want to see more of it and see a wider variety of content, that's the way I'm going to be able to do it. And, uh, that's all I'm saying right now. I've kind of expended a little too much money in the recent uh, times between getting the Blu-ray drive and buying software to be able to rip the DVD, rip the Blu-ray stuff and obtaining new Blu-rays to increase the quality of things. It's really kind of sucked a lot of money away. I'm trying to rebuild right now like what doing web design stuff and various other things to try to up uh, the bank account back to a more... Uh, area that I like to have not in dire straits, but just like I like to get it back where it is before I get too low You know always have unexpected costs and fewer things that come up that you know are gonna be down the line That you had to be prepared for so trying to get back to the safer place of where I like things before I started expending any more costs in that realm, so I kind of wanted to uh I saw that Ronald Knight had come out this week on Blu-ray, and I was like, well, I, 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 I just watched, re rewatched my own review of it. It's like, eh, I'd pro I, I would probably own it if the price was right. And $23 was not the right price for me. That that was the cheapest price for the Blu-ray. It's like, didn't like the film that much, okay? Uh, wait till it's like in, uh, in a big old price cut, maybe a couple months down the line. Or I'll just rent it on Redbox in like a month or something, you know. It wasn't that uh, that itching to see the movie again. So, uh, so uh, I am come hell or high water, no matter how bad I think the movie's gonna be. Yeah, I'm gonna see Terminator Genesis because I just have this compulsion towards the Terminator films right now, and uh, I'm gonna see it. Okay, I, I'm gonna have to see it. And, I don't know, I have no hopes for this movie, it's just I have this weird fucking thing just in like the last week that I, I'm just going to have to see this movie. I don't know what it is, I just have to see it now, it's weird. And uh, you're going to get my thoughts on the Terminator films soon, so that's <laughs> pretty much tells you anything from what I said earlier. Terminator franchise retrospective coming up in due time, so... <laughs> No point thinly veiling it, so. But I uh, don't have the Blu-rays of those. I kind of thought about, uh, like, renting them and ripping the Blu-rays, but I figured I don't need to, again, expend any more unnecessary costs. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm definitely a nice, comfortable amount of time to be able to work on it. So uh, gathering my thoughts, already have some notes, making sure I got everything nice, fresh in mind. We're going to go ahead and shoot the thing. So that's all I already got for you guys. I missed out on seeing the Terminator original film re-release in theaters last week because it just couldn't get to it and other things were going on so uh that's really all i have in mind uh anything else that comes up i don't know but uh like i said razorfilm.com is updated uh oh guys and hemi will be having a new live show on sunday june 28th it's kind of a earlier show than usual it's at fizz grill bar here in Chicago. If you guys are in Chicago, you like some heavy metal, go check it out. It'll be a nice early show, like I said, like a late afternoon show. So it'll be really, really, really convenient for a Sunday. And uh, the guys are really jacked up and ready to go on this thing, rip roar and everything. They really want to get out there and really kind of kick some ass again. So I'm really excited for them. And uh, we are going to early, early, early stages of discussing the music video production. So. Uh, once we can actually get together in the same place and discuss things, we will start moving forward. So, that's another thing of a film project I want to do. We want to do another music video with these guys. It'd be really fucking awesome. And uh, I'll do what we've done before. So, there's a lot of stuff we've been doing. and We did the Fire in the Sky video, and ever since then, it's just been kind of like cutting together from various other sources and whatnot. Shooting, 
one video was just them in this recording studio. Another one was just all the live footage. This time, properly produced music video of one of their songs from Undivided Intentions. So, uh, that's all I got for you guys at this time. Uh, if I wish I had something else to tell you guys, but, uh, check it out. Check out Ramson Productions on Instagram. I am posting almost daily photos there. Really trying to, uh, push things in a very, push things in a different realm there that really highlighting a lot of back behind the scenes type of stuff and publicity photos and a couple of, mo a couple of posters just varying up the content, showing a lot of very cool type of stuff from the history of Ravensfilm Productions. And, uh, Check it out, guys. If you're on Instagram, just hit up at Raven's Film. You'll see all our stuff on a fairly re regular basis. And I'll see Twitter, Facebook, all that type of stuff, Tumblr. Go check it out. And uh, like I said, if I had anything else to say, I would say it, but nothing comes to mind. So just check out the links below of everything I've mentioned today. And uh, see you guys soon with another Forever Cinematic Movie Review. And hopefully I'll be able to get a film project going in the near future. So take care. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.